some of y'all are just straight up haters. Like, and I feel like, I genuinely feel like black women are f***ing mean, okay? If you don't look, talk, act a certain way, y'all are f***ing mean. And I feel like I have to say not all of you because some of y'all are like, well, not me, not all of you, but in a whole dead ass, some of y'all are just mean as hell. And I don't feel like, you know, the black community, black women support other black women as much as other communities. Let's take, let's, let's take the, the white right out of it. Other communities. You know, I'll say this. Oh my gosh. How do I, how do I, let me see if I can find something for you all real quick. Yeah, he is. Let's go. With some thoughts here. Okay. Please um, do. There's a section here on race and color, which is another thing with the, the variation of what we have in the world. Just a, a point I want to make when European anthropologists started running through Africa and started describing what they saw. Their urge was to say, everyone in Africa is this thing, and they have dark skin, woolly hair, and that is a thing. And they called it a race, and they called it the Negroes, okay? And this is our attempt to classify into few categories something that might actually, in real life, be on a spectrum. Mm. We know that the human species began in Africa. And everybody who populates everywhere else in the world came out of Africa to do that. What that tells you is that the genetic diversity within Africa as the origin of our species is greater than it is between any other two people anywhere else in the world. We can come back to this video on another day. I just wanted to bring this up in relation to this young lady who is talking about how black women can be so mean. What type of black women are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, and then also with all it is that we have been through as a people, you have to realize that just because a person's skin is dark brown or they have negroid hair, the nicest people you'll find will be black, the meanest people you'll find will be black, the smartest people you find will be black, the dumbest people you'll find will be black. It's like we are so genetically diverse and we're so culturally diverse even in this country. Listen, I'm from New York. Where do you think most of the people who watch my channel are from? Hmm? I'll answer for you. They're from New York. There's a resonance that East Coasters, Northeasterners have with one another. We resonate with each other. Like how I said, that girl seemed like she might be difficult to get along with. Okay, I'm difficult for some people to get along with. However, there's a commonality that we have here in the Northeast a camaraderie we have, an understanding that we have. And so who are these people that you're talking about are so mean and how do they have access to you? Who are they? Who qualified them that their opinion has, has gotten to you and that you're able to see and verify their race? I personally, I don't know mean girls. I don't know them. I don't have them in my circle. I don't know mean black girls. I think that black women are some of the warmest women that are out there. When I lived in Japan for a year, I craved, I longed for the warmth of sisters. I can understand how men miss that good, good love that black women give. So it's like, uh, I can't relate to her because I don't have those types of experiences. Like, look at her. What type of friend do you think she is? Like, seriously. What type of friend do you think she is? How do you think she shows up in her relationships? It's like how you do anything is how you do everything. Like attracts like. How do you think she shows up in her friendships, in her relationships, in her interactions with other black women? I mean, listen, I'm a life coach. I work with women, and, and the majority of the women that I work with happen to be black women. So I see what some of that trauma looks like behind the scenes. What is it that we're expecting from a traumatized group? If there's a person that's being mean to you, she's not being mean to you because she's black. She's being mean to you because 
this is the outward expression of some very deep things that are happening and have happened to her behind the scenes. There's one thing that you know when you see another black person. You know that there's a commonality in experience of a certain level of trauma. So, listen, I can make mention of some of the things that we have that are going wrong in our community. But what's the point in making mention of it if there's no solution? Like, I can talk about how black women, how we suffer from some things. But if I don't have a solution working in tandem with that criticism, then what is the point? Now you've turned into the mean girl. Now you've turned into the person that you are claiming other people are. Okay, there's some traumatized people out there who are interacting from a trauma response. All right. Now what? Now you've made, you, you've made your statement. Now what? Okay. Be a part of the live show with thousands of other viewers. Go to tanyatko.com forward slash text and join the text notification squad and get a text whenever I go live. Support the show and yourself, and I'll see you on the next live broadcast.